Welcome back, folks. April Fools. It's our first episode, and nice. this is the Sun Show. Sun is an acronym for the state of nature. We mm-hmm. are just some college age guys. Big we dicey. cover politics. We cover history. And we cover culture. Yeah. We're going to just start it off. We're going to talk about some politics, Ian. All right. Uh, so courtesy of Twitter user at iCarly Blu-ray HD, uh, he wanted us to talk about the state of Utah roads and lack of funding. <laughs> so... Shocker report, Utah roads are <laughs> um, <gasps> As of a census that occurred at the latter half of uh, 2018, it, a survey went out and roughly two-thirds of Utah roads, specifically the Salt Lake County roads, are almost indrivable. There are many potholes. And the estimated funding that the that like you know state funding that goes into road infrastructure is around like 3.2 3.5 million and in order to make the roads properly drivable and be less of a danger to utah drivers it is estimated that the roads need between 15 million and 20 million in order to repair um to offer proper infrastructure on all utah roads so what are your wow. thoughts fellas well i can't deny that that's true that the yeah that's what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah. Good um, one, it, it, nice. It, it's definitely true. As a biker on these roads, they absolutely suck. Yeah. While our roads are out here deteriorating, our state representative, Mike Lee, is out on you know the Senate floor talking about velociraptors. So Might as well. Utah overall is a super, uh, how, should, how should I say that? We're, we're all about the realness here in Utah. <laughs> we don't need roads. You we need don't dinosaurs. need proper infrastructure. We just need the facts. We just need a velociraptor. That's it. That would fix all of our road issues. Yeah, I remember when like Domino's was filling more potholes than the, like <laughs> than several state governments. Oh yes. yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that. like oh. that's that, and that's I think still very much a factor. And I think you know if we put a little more money into you know roads and road safety rather than you know demolishing old buildings like the one that happened down the street in Logan the the institute of like the like the old um that that the antique shops that like oh yeah yeah, yeah. they they tore down that like the city tore down destroyed and it's like you you could have you know used the money that your the brand new hotel the city's putting up there you could have they're putting up another one too yeah exactly you could you know pour a little bit more money into the road since when does logan need hotels and you know yeah. Apparently they that basically does it. We're keeping politics local for our first round. Hope you enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, you go on those roads, have insurance, please. Yes. That's it. Shut I love history. Yeah. We love history. And this week is a doozy. April 1st, Monday, is April Fool's Day. Yeah. Give yeah. Surprise. yeah. Ooh, I yeah. love I love Yay. prank. Right. The his- so I, I thought it would be fun to go back and look up the history of April Fool's. And that in and of itself was a prank because there is no history on it. No one knows where it comes from. There are several uh, theories as to where it comes from. One is in the 1500s in France. They switched up the, the calendar system so that the first day of the year would actually be in January rather than April. And the people who didn't get the memo that the new year started in January got a filthy prank going. Morons! On. More idiots! <laughs> yeah. And the next theory, they think it might even go back as far as Rome. I don't know. They don't know either. But yeah, so basically, April Fool's Day, a day for pranks. It's on Monday. Go out there. Get some filthy pranks in. Get some fun pranks in. We're all about pranks. And then we're going to move it on after that. To Peter, we're gonna talk about the culture. We gonna do that? Uh, We got music picks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, So my pick this week was Kimbra's latest album called Primal Heart. Mm -hmm. Uh, Album cover, maybe. Um, But nice, dude. Yeah, killed that one. Thanks. Um, That came out in like mid 2019. Mm -hmm. It's just more Kimbra. She sang on somebody that I used to know like the female on there yeah Yeah. with goatee uh and her music is certainly something else like i don't know i love it it's one of my favorite albums uh what do you guys think of it because y'all listen to it as well i didn't really dig into her discography very much until now until Mm -hmm. you asked me to um i enjoy it sometimes like the 
the airy vocals like a yeah. little bit much for me but i do like love some of the synthway movements songs that she has Earth um it's very slap. poppy uh i you know it's solid. i'm no anthony fantano but uh i i'm not a huge pop dude and let's move it on over to ian uh, <laughs> that was wow okay yeah. cool your two cents <laughs> great yeah. input uh, i uh Thanks. i listened my music pick this week was uh czarface it is a rap trio of former Wu Tang member um Inspected Deck Inspected Deck uh and then That's quite the name. F- do you remember the other two? No. Uh, yeah, it's a rap trio. They got names like Inspected <laughs> Deck, so like <laughs> yeah. how do you uh, remember and, those and, names? Um, it's a almost a, it's like an homage to uh old school rap that is very comic book nerdy centralized uh vocals like rhymes and um just kind of and it's featuring uh several artists like method man and then the rap trio itself is um you know notoriously old school and it's kind of i i mentioned you know preserving earlier but it's more of like just extending like the old school rap feel and vibe yeah that like you know like you said wu-tang clan and just some some really like deep rooted like OG rap. Yeah, Wu Tang is for the kids, and I think it's cool because it sounds old. It's made new. The album you had us listen to, we will link it in the description. That album, yeah. 2015, sounds like it's from the golden age of hip hop. Absolutely, like the 90s. Absolutely, yeah. late 80s. It's so it's like, yeah, super sick. Essentially, whatever your image of 90s rap is, this just kind of fulfills that fantasy, right? If you loved Arctic Monkeys' latest album, if you liked their de- like their their hit album from the US AM, yeah, yeah, throw them in the trash because I'm going to talk about their first album. It's what I nice. throw them in the trash. The heck, <laughs> no. Yeah, their first album is titled. I will defend I, those albums. Yeah, your whatever language? people say, I'm that is what I'm not. Debuted in 06. Fantastic album. It really does uh, bring Arctic Monkeys back to their core, and. Uh, it's why I like them still, even though they're so far. They've driven. They've drifted so far away from like what they're they used really, to be. Yeah, it's true. like they're in a space hotel or something like that. In their latest album, they drifted that far away. Dude, Thanks. nice. It's like really they brought it space. back. I know. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, if you're ever bored this week <laughs> and you want to listen to music, <laughs> go look up Kimbra Czarface. That's C Z A R Face. Mm-hmm. The good way to spell it. Or mm-hmm. you could go listen to Arctic Monkeys' first album rather than their latter two. Wow, that seems really biased. Sweet. Oh, you're nah. good. Nah, I no? think we're fine. No? I think we're good. We're you good? You good? good? Thumbs here. up here. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Cool. We got we got some hot takes. We tried to talk about like current things. Right. I figure we could pull up one of these questions. Uh, so we have two today. Um, this oh. first one comes from Twitter user. GOP backbone and this has to deal with um the with Beto O'Rourke becoming or saying that he's going to be one of the presidential candidates, uh, candidates. yeah I think you or just running for president yeah, he just, yes. he just, that he just thing. launched his candidacy that thing yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm good you. with words you're good so this you're guy right. asks could the avocado recall be due to the fears that Beto might use it for modified guacamole oh jeez yeah. So, oh, what is modified boy. guacamole? You take Something that away, Peter. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm okay. I have no clue. You yeah. take that away. So, like, are they importing some crazy stuff here? Or? I think you're thinking way too hard yeah, about I have this. No <laughs> idea. <laughs> and then, um, this one is two pieces of uh, pizza put on top of each other. Is that lasagna? Yeah. Well, I what? I yes. dig no. pizza way more. Okay, I can't stand lasagna, G. And like I, <laughs> like I'm. It's not my forte. It's not my cup of pasta. It is just like <laughs> your cup of pasta. <laughs> what? Okay, take it easy now. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I like you know. There's no pepperoni in lasagna, and but there's like, meat in lasagna. Oh my God! Shut up, Peter. <laughs> 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 Let me finish. <laughs> it's, okay. I, it's not lasagna. You know, it's like, you know, like when you, like you fold a pizza or put two pieces of pizza on top of each other. That's just like, that's, that's a <laughs> meal. There's no lasagna. I, you, you would not catch me dead eating lasagna. I mean, no offense, dad. I know it's your favorite dish. You I could just, fold up lasagna. In my head, I just picture 
you know, like you're with your buddies <laughs> getting pizza, and one of them goes, oh, folds it onto the other piece and goes, oh, oh, it's lasagna. Okay, you idiot, you onto- moron. No, no, you no, stupid, no. stupid man. No, yeah, you're wrong. Uh, I'm not. So, okay, um, pizza. Uh, it's still top pizza. pizza on top of that pizza. Yeah. Where the heck is the pasta? That's two pieces That's of bread. The crust. Uh. No. Yeah. yeah. There's wheat in that crap. But is there no wheat? Watch your language. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a Christian mouth. server. I'm <laughs> trying to do my best here. No, but lasagna has pasta in it. Pizza doesn't have freaking pasta on it. There are what what pasta pizza have you seen? That sounds um, like a tongue twister you know almost. What? That's, uh, okay. I think that's it. Can we stop Are we s- before I hit you? We're done. <laughs> okay. I will say this in closing statement. We'll have some good. Two pizza, one slice of pizza <clears throat> stacked onto another pizza is not lasagna. Ketchup is not a smoothie. <clears throat> and that was the Sun Show's first episode. Oh, so Thank you very can, much for tuning in. We will be back can, next week oh, with more politics, oh, oh. more history, mm-hmm. and, and more, more culture. culture. And how, how can people get a hold of us? Uh, hit our Twitter at that camera. Yeah, at, that one. at uh, son podcast. Right, right here. Uh, capital S, capital O, capital N podcast. <laughs> uh, and what's the email, Peter? The dot sun dot podcast at gmail dot com. Uh, if you have any weird questions you want us to answer, on email? you got any news you want us to talk about? They can't. Be- oh, you want to listen to our podcast? We got that. Yeah, link. put that here. Maybe <laughs> I think. Right? Okay. Peter, I don't stop. Know. Do it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, you everyone.